Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and uh, recently Tendo, the maker of Percus Maximus, released an update that fixed a lot of bugs in the game, and it's version 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, I wanted to go over real fast how to install it and how to fix it so it'll work into Mod Organizer. So we're going to duck into game real fast and uh, check out Lucan and see what we have to do before we update it and hopefully save our save. Let's get right started and we'll uh, duck in and take a look at it. Alright guys, so uh, here we are in game, you can see uh, I've got Lucan stripped down. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try and do what uh, is suggested by up when you update these Percus Maximus games. And I've stripped all my gear off, put it inside that chest you see behind me. I'm in a house that's empty. So we're going to uh, save it here, go to the desktop and try to update this and maybe salvage the save, maybe, hopefully. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but it's possible. So uh, let's head in there. We'll do this up and uh, see if we have a success. So I'll be back in a few. Hang on. All right, guys, we're ready to start doing this. Let's uh, show I have mod organizer ready to run. I have the old version still here, so we can go ahead and uh, minimize this. And the first thing we're going to be doing is, of course, the Percus Maximus. And you can see it's up to version 1.1. And there's some important information. I'll just show you the files real fast. There's actually two files. Percus Maximus 1.1 and fix winter mist stuff. Okay. And he says, I borked the included winter mist. Go to Skyrim data and replace the two files with this archive. We'll be doing a merge. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to do it. But I already have them, and like all my downloads, they're over here. Doing testing does funny stuff, so just kind of ignore this. Just know that I'll be installing these in order. Okay, let's go to posts, and he will talk about 1.1 is up. The most important changes. I accidentally borked the winter mist. We talked about that. Patcher now supports repatching on existing same games better. However, this feature will not help your current save. I suggest finishing your current playthrough before running the patcher again. Well, Skyrim Maximus LP, I may have issues, but we'll we'll see what happens when I, uh, you know, I, I showed you I was stripped down, ready to go for this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the patcher comes with two bat files for additional heap space. One is for 64-bit users. The other works for mod organizer 32-bit. So 64-bit, if you have it running elsewhere, you know, you could use that one, mod organizer users, and this tutorial is for mod organizer. Uh, use the 32 bat file, so if you need more heap space, you can use that. Since uh, they have new names, you'll have to alter the file paths if you access them from somewhere else. I'll show you how to do that. I don't use it, or I didn't have to use it before. We'll have to see. But anyways, that's that. I'll show you where to do that. Uh, let's see if there's any notes from Rolfin on this. Uh, I don't see much, much there. Mod organizer, not on mod organizer stuff. Notes. Uh, adding new mods. We know about the buffer underflow exception. I'm trying to figure out why, though. Keep it up to date. If we run into that, I may have to come back with a fix at that. Uh, arrow bolt variants currently require rank 1 and rank 2 of the skilled enhancer perk in alchemy. That's a bug. I think Tendo's working on that. Um, they may have to wait for another update. In addition to the perks that are actually needed, the recipes are at the forge now, instead of the cooking pot, which makes a lot more sense. So... That's a bug fix, and if you want to see all the bug fixes, you can go up to Changes, and 1.1, you go down, it's a lot of fixes. You can see all the fixes are right here, and it's quite a bit. If you've seen Gopher's uh, testing of this, you can see some of them in action. Uh, how the Palm uh, Patcher works, um, other stuff, tweaks. So there's quite a bit in this update, and just know it fixes a lot of the issues. So, like I said... You need two files for this. You need the Percus Maximus 1.1, and you're going to download that with Manager, and you're going to need the Fix Winter Mist stuff, and download that with Manager. So we'll go to Mod Organizer, and we will take a look. You know, we have the version 1.0 right there, and we have Percus Maximus 1.1. Done. Double click to install, and it will go through and extract the files. It's a big extraction, so we'll let it run, and we'll come back to you right towards the end. And we're getting close. Here we go. All right, and we've seen this screen before. You know, you basically go and choose the options you have. I have all of them. And we'll click them all. And if you wanted to run just with one or the other or a combination thereof, you'd need to go in and change the XML files. 
And I have a video on how to do that. You can find that on the PCAP page. Uh, and then you hit next. And instead of merging, you know, this model will be replaced is 1.0 right here. So it does not emerge. It is a replace. So hit replace. And it'll extract these files. And once again, I'll come back right towards the end. And there we go. So that has been done. Now we talked about the fix winter miss stuff. Now that we have version 1.1 ready to go, we need to fix that winter miss stuff that uh, Tendo borked on the update. So double click to install. I know it says installed. I don't know why Mod Overrunner thinks it's installed, but it's not. It's just me testing stuff. So you can go ahead and double click that. And you can see it's Percus Maximus Maxim Perk Overhaul. And it's not the Fix Winter Mist stuff as the title. We want to merge that into Percus Maximus. So just go ahead and click Manual. And you can see data is not on top. We want to set that as directory. Now it will change the, that BSA in the ESP file. And now it looks good. Okay. Now in this one, it is a merge. Because all we're doing is changing those two files, that BSA and the ESP. So you want it to merge. There, that's done. Now we can hide this stuff. Just remove it from view. Don't delete these. Just remove it from view. And we'll remove that from view. There we go. Okay, now into PCAP. You can see we have, what, what version did I have? Perma compatibility in Palma Patch was 1.7. So 2.1 is, is up. It came up last night. And we'll go to that. Let's see, Ralphin's got his page right here. Let's see, it's up here. I'll leave all these descriptions for all these uh, t web links and the descriptions. Go to Files. And since the XML is the same date as the Perma patch, all you don't need to do is download with Manager. Okay, So that's it. You don't need the new XMLs because they're up to date already inside of the main patcher. And you just download that with Manager. And I have it right here. Perma patches 2.1. And you double click to install that. And you need to go through the foam mod again. And of course, I have Waffer Immersive Weapons. But if you have the complete package, you know, choose what you have. Right? Open this up so you can see some of the other options here. Bring out your data is included in that. These are standalone patches. If you have one of them, but not the other. Right? You would want to click one of those. You have replacement ESPs, because this is Waffer Immersive Weapons. I need Immersive Armors. I've got that. I have Winter is Coming. Uh, do I have anything else? Nope, don't have it. Optional patches. The Alyssa Uncapper, the uh, collaboration between Rolfin and Crush Boss. I want that. I have Frostfall. I want that. I have Immersive Creatures. Yes, I do not have Bound Armies or Left Hand Wings. Okay, hit next. And hit install. Now, once again, since we are not merging this, we are replacing this entirely with a new version. We hit replace. There we go. Okay. Now, before we move on, I'm going to hide that. I'm going to go check our plugins and see what, what it did. Now, those are going. I need to activate that. Perma survivalism. It needs Chesco's Frostfall. It Chesco's Frostfall is way up high. I'll push that up for right now. You find it later. That's not that important. Let's go back and take a look at our Percus Maximus Masters. A Master, Warrior, Thief, Winter, Miss Mage. Those are all in the correct order. You can see it actually sits above Alternate Start. Okay. There's you know a PCAP, pre Pama Whopper IW patch. Okay. This needs to go below. And I'll show you all that in just a second. And if we come up here, we'll go check our armors and weapons, which I keep up here. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Hoth Trooper 44. Weapon armor fixes remade. Okay, those all look great. Those are all ready to go. So, I'll show you this real fast on Rolfin's page. If you ever have questions about load order, basically go to the forum section. And you go to facts. And he's going to give you that rough guideline that's kind of been updated recently so you know we had the pre pama waffer patch or merge pre pama patch so that would be the waffer iw if you just had the pre pama iw patch okay you need to know where that goes so i want to show you this real fast it's a little deceiving 
If you go down and look at the Prepom uh, Waffer IW patch under Enabled Masters, it says it has Percus Maximus ESP as an enabled master. If I put that all the way up there with the others, it would be in the wrong spot. I want this to be a listed for the master. Okay. So just be aware of that. You know, my load order is very custom, so I don't use loot anymore because loot messes things up. Don't ask me why. It just does. Okay. So there's that. Now, I'm going to step away. I'm going to rebuild my merge patch and my bash patch, and those need to go away. And I can just remove those. And I will be back shortly after I rebuild them. All right, guys, we're back. You know, I went and built a merge patch first, then did the bash patch. You've seen me do that before. And that's the preferred, preferred order right there. And we have the merge patch and the bash patch in the correct order right there. So we're ready to go. I want you to go to data. Uh, let's do this first. I'm going to just do fresh. We're going to the debug more headspace. I'm going to uh, remove that. Okay. So we'll just remove that completely. And we're going to remove Patches Maximus completely. No, we're not going to do that. I changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Because I'll go back and take a look and see if there's any uh, binary information in there that I need to know. See if it changed that anyway. So we'll create a new one and just take a look at it. Okay. Close up. Now, in data, go down to your Skyproc patches. <clears throat> Excuse me. Skyproc patches. Tend to Patches Maximus, and you'll find the two new files we talked about. You have, hey, let's open this up so you can actually see it. You have the 32 bit and modorganizer.bat, and you have the 64 bit.bat. So if you actually use a 64 bit system, use this one. You know, we are using Mod Organizer, which only allows 32 bit. So we're going to highlight it, and we're going to add as executable. And there it is. See, it actually it titles it. Ooh, very exciting. And we'll go down and take a look at that real fast. You have more headspace, 32-bit, and mod organizer. Okay, close it. Now I wanted to go ahead and test this. We'll highlight that, patch just maximus.jar, and we will add as executable. I'll just maybe it two for right now, just to, for S and giggles. And we'll go take a look at that. So let's open this up, take a look. And you have patches maximus. And that is the original one right there. You can see pre C program files, Java IRA, okay. Patch the Maximus 2, nothing changed. So the only thing that changed is the arguments. And you know that the arguments. Is that done there? Ooh. There we go. No, just wait. So we have the arguments section down here. Just move over and take a look here. Beep. There's our x dash xmx 1024m. Okay, so that's the argument that I put in for. Uh, excuse me, my phone rings and it sounds like a dog. Um, it sound the arguments to make it actually run with the proper amount of of memory. Okay, so now that we know it is essentially the same program file, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one because there's no change in that. So now that I'm assured of that, I'm going to remove the test one, the patches maximus. Yep. Yep. I really want to move it. Okay. So, close that. Now in your this 32-bit MO, okay, we got patches maximus. We are ready to go. Let's double check our plugins real fast. And it looks like we have everything we need. There we go. And we will go ahead. I want to run patches maximus. And see what we got. I mean, this is kind of a new thing. We'll just make sure it runs. And we hit patch. And we'll let it do its thing. All right, guys, we're coming to the end here. So you may be asking, why am I doing this now? I was just thinking about this while I was waiting for this to work. Uh, you know, with uh, the LP going, the farther you go along in this, the harder it is to replay the whole thing. If this fails and it corrupts my save and I can't use it, I'll have to be able to go back, replay the first couple episodes, and try and, you know, recreate it as much as possible so that for, you know, the LP portion, it will 
have continuity. And, you know, that's that's kind of important. So, you know, if we have to update later on, it won't be so much of a redo. But, you know, it, it will work. You know, I, I'm confident that, uh, you know, the LP will be up and running soon and we'll be able to get this done. So hopefully this will finish doing what it's supposed to be doing here. There we go. All right. So we're reaching the end. Everything worked? Yes, I have something in my overwrite. Let's take a look at it. Patches Maximus ESP and Skyrim Proc patches. That's what we want. And we will create a mod out of that. And we'll call it Pa Ma. And it's going to be Dirty Weasel 1 6 because that's today's date. All right. Hit OK. And we'll activate it. Activate. Thank you very much. It should be down here. There it is. That's where it belongs at the very bottom of your load order. So I'm just going to minimize this down. And we will go into the game and see if it works. Hopefully. See if it corrupts our save. We'll find out. All right. We made it that far. Let's see what happens with our save. Set load. Shell's Rest. That's where Naked Lucan was. Load the game. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Something's... it's loading. Hey, Naked Lucan's back. It hates... ooh. What's his name's in here with us? Open our chest. And we'll just take it all, we'll figure it sorted. Yeah, I know, I'm carrying too much now. Just see what we got, so, um... Clothing and bow. Do I have any magic we weapons? I don't think so. You know, there's the Nordic spear. Where was I was using the heavy warhammer? It's still here. Spiky mace. Mighty steel gray sword, which I've considered using. So there's that. Um, okay. There's the hide helmet of minor illusion. Wolfskin magic. Oh my gosh, it looks like everything is working. So we got everything. That's 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 good. Let's oh the frame rate is so bad. Take a look. See if we go outside. I think we may have gotten lucky. It didn't corrupt the save. Oh, there. There's the courier man. I gotta get rid of him. Trusty lantern. Oh, run of the rusty travel lantern removed. Those things run out so quickly. And here is the horse. So, everything worked, guys. It looks good. I will uh, be able to continue the Let's Play from this point on. Uh, so, that's it. I'm going to call it here. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, we got through a lot of stuff today. Uh, we'll catch you next time uh, with another Let's Play video of Skyrim Maximus. So, uh, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.